I love when you say it like that. Come on in, buddy. Sounds good. Oh, nothing. Just going over some stuff. Uh, what's going on? Oh, well, got a little bad news. What's the bad news? Haven't heard from Kay. You realize you guys are in a tag title match tonight, right? We're supposed to be anyway, but if Kay's not around... Got it. We're doing a Memorial Cup Battle Royal tonight. And uh, I'm going to give you a chance to be in there. Who? Me? You! Yeah, you! This guy! Me! This guy, yes! That's a big thing. Mr. DDT, baby. Let's, let's do this. If you win, you get a chance to pick any championship you want to face and fight for as far as the strikes. Hmm. I like it. Heavyweight. Wait, that's taken. No, okay. All-American. Tag team. Hardcore. Your choice. Hell, well, you can even make it a triple threat because guys are already challenged mine. It don't matter. If you win, you got it. Whatever title I want. Whatever title shot you want. I like that. Okay, it's done. That's ah, see you later. <laughs>
saying it's done.
inside the ring to get John Stone. Big John Stone hits him to the right. Big John Stone going for something with the ring. He's in a chair. Big John Stone hit Carnage with a chair. Stone rolls in and breaks the tent count. Stone perhaps trying to get away from Carnage. Rams him right into that steel post outside the ring. Chris Coon is now a referee and he's up to a three count. Big right from Carnage and another. And Carnage has hit Stone with so many rights he begs for a left. And he charges him. He charges him in the corner and Stone moves out of the way. Fans firmly behind Carnage. There's LJ. LJ has made his way back to the back to the ringside. Outside the ring. LJ crouching down, hiding. LJ perhaps trying to stay ahead from Carnage. Driving the chair out of Carnage's head a couple times there. Carnage has yet to make it back into the ring. Trying to regroup inside the ring. Carnage is laying out outside the ring after a couple of those chair shots. Goon trying to keep LJ and Tap over there. I'm guessing this is a hardcore match because I mean they're just beating each other with weapons. See how with the crutches. Little to no effect on Carnage. He's choking Carnage in the corner with that chair with that crutch. Carnage looks like he's bleeding for the last chair shot. Carnage sees LJ. Perhaps going after LJ, but he turns back around. Big shot to the back of that crutch. He bent that crutch. I'm sure that crutch has seen better days. Carnage. I can't say that I don't blame him. He's got the barbed wire baseball bat. Big John Stone's on the side of the ring. He's just grabbing it. He's just pressing it against the forehead of Big John Stone. It had to go on blood. LJ High telling it out of there again. Like I said, I can't blame the man. Carnage is a big, scary dude. Driving the barbed wire face right into his own head. I, I honestly have to say that man has problems, but I would not say it to his face. Big suplex out on the ring by Carter's on John Stone. Carter's grabbing a chair. Fans 
letting LJ hear it. Telling Stone to get up. Sure don't want to get up after that chair shot. Stone actually made his way to his feet and he gets hit with the chair again. Break the five count him, or the ten count himself. Carnage has just been in total, in total control of this match since the start, pretty much. And he's got the he's got the barbed wire batting and dragging it against the head of John Stone. LJ, it wouldn't be too smart if LJ keeps running his mouth to carnage. I don't think that crutch is going to protect you from much. Fans want to get LJ. He's trying to use referee Chris Coombs for some support to get up. Hits. Wow. I've never seen a crutch use like that before. One dirty crutch. This is one dirty crutch if you ask me. I think that crutch is about had it. Looks like he says the heck with that match. Carnage goes outside. Breaking the team count himself.
Barbaric, it's gonna be brutal, no doubt about it. The Colorado will tie up in the middle of the ring. Drake Gallows back screams it out to the ropes. Irish whip by Drake Gallows and a kick to the midsection. And a drop kick to Kareem Sadat. And the veteran move by Kareem Sadat. Rolling out of the ring, putting Drake Gallows, chasing him. Kareem Sadat capitalizes. Oh, Sadat's already opening the casket. Oh, and he's got a barbed wire bat. We got barbed wire everything in this match. And a barbed wire chair. We even got staplers in the ring. He's going to we got What staplers. else do you need from under the ring? We got Milton over here who's shaking in his boots and his cowboy hat. He doesn't like caskets. As Dre goes to work on Kareem Sadat. Big right by Dre Gallows. He grabs a steel chair. Oh, what a shot. He hit him so hard it opened the chair. Oh, my God. God. Good God. Uh, He's got this barbed wire baseball bat. He's got barbed wire and God knows what else wrapped on it. Could be a homeless man in there. Who knows? I have no idea. Oh, God. Barbara right across the face. Grinding across the forehead of Kareem Sadat. Oh, goes right to work on the ankle of Kareem Sadat. Drake Gallows working over. Kareem's, oh God! Just shoving driving the bat in his forward bat right in his face. As the fans start chanting, "We want blood." As we've said before, these fans are pretty sick. Oh, what a nice, nice drop kick by Kareem Sadat! And it looks like Kareem Sadat's been busted open. Looks like Kareem Sadat's been busted open from that last barbed wire baseball bat shot. Oh, barbed wire right in, barbed wire chair right in the back of Drake Gallows. He's got the stapler. Oh, there's fixing to be some blood. Oh, and he takes a stapler right to the head.
fans want to see it again. These fans are sick. I I'm sorry, I just have to say it. These fans are very sick, Devin. These fans have got some issues. These are some bloodthirsty individuals, though. He's got the barbed wire bat. He's just grinding it right on the head of Drake Gallows. Oh my god. This is crazy. Goes for a pin. One, two. Drake Gallows kicks out a two and three fours. Looks like Drake's been busted open now, too. I mean, you had to know there was going to be blood spilt in this match. Oh, absolutely, Devin. Absolutely. I mean, oh, wait a minute. Here comes the bowling pin. <laughs> Poor Kevin almost took his spin. Had to hightail it out of here. That's the best I've seen him move since before he had to retire. Oh, wait a minute. He's got Drake in the casket. He, he won't Drake close it. Casket. His leg's in the way. Oh, and he works right on the leg. Drake Allen's perhaps playing it smart, keeping the leg in the way of the, ca oh, the, way of the door closing. Drake Allen's. Oh, gut burst. Gut burst right into the ring apron. And he's trying to throw Kareem Sadat in there now. Now Sadat's in there. Oh, Clamp's right on the ankle of Kareem Sadat. Oh. Oh. But still, the casket's not closed. And he kicks Drake Gallows in the midsection. Kareem Sadat trying to make his way out of that casket. Wow. Uh-oh. He's got a staple gun. Yeah, oh. oh, staples him right in the head. Drake has a sick, sadistic smile on his face. Oh, and again. And Drake Allos. Drake has a sick, sadistic oh. smile on his face. Graham Sadat kicking him right out here in front of us. He throws Drake Gallows back in the ring. Now we got this sick contraption. And it looks like it's not going to feel good. Oh, my God. I guess that's part of the barbed wire. That makes this a oh, barbed wire job. casket match. This is not going to feel good at it Looks all. like a bed of barbed wire. That is, oh, God, that's no bed of barbed wire. Good God. That is just sick. Somebody is going to go through that, and there's going to be a lot of pain. No doubt about it. And he's choking Drake Gallows on the top rope. I was just back in the locker room a minute ago. Every wrestler that is here is out here watching this match. I mean, it's got match of the year candidate written all over it. Oh Who wouldn't God. want to see it? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, he's got him up. Oh, Dre Gallows looks like he might be eating some barbed wire. Dre Gallows holding on for dear life. He's teeing off on him. This might look good if you're Dre Gallows. They're both outside the, on the ring apron. Oh, my God. He's going for, oh, dear God. No. He won't take it. Oh, goes right back in the ring. Drives that, drives that shoulder right in Drake again. Drake Gallows trying to fight back, trying to fight out of it as he's not in the best position right now. One, two. I think they both went down on that barbed wire. Ended up catching that barbed wire chair right there in the ring. Fans are kind of split here. The half fans really are. I think half half people are more Gallows. into this match and just to enjoy it than anything. I don't think the wrestlers are going to enjoy it. No, but I'm talking about the fans. 
the fans are the ones who are going to enjoy this. And then again, in all reality, then again, in all reality, that's all that matters. This is to put on a show for the fans. That's all that matters. That's right. He's got that bed of barbed wire making the referee making help him. The referee help him get it up. And he's got Brock Landers helping him. It's OP. And B would be proud of something. This is not look. That bed does not look comfortable at all. Oh, I don't want to sleep on that bed. Good God, that is that is just that just looks sick. And Dre Gallows has this sick smile on his face. <laughs> and he's working over Kareem Salad again with the right hand. Big headbutt by Dre Gallows. Uppercut. You know, I don't expect to see very many wrestling moves in this I match. Oh, God! There goes Drake Gallows right into the bed of barbed wire. Oh, God. That is just sick. And you just see from this angle, it's just digging into the flesh. Oh, and he just Oh, my God. I would have stayed in personally. I wouldn't would even want to kick out after that. Oh, God, I don't know. That was just sick. The resiliency of these men has got... I mean, of course, it's going to play a big role in this. These men were very... I watched this. I watched these guys in the back, and these two men were very, very into this match. They were focused. I don't see how you could be into this match. Oh, it's no good. Oh, and it falls on him. All entangled in the barbed wire. Oh, God! Driving into the back of Kareem Sadat. Good God. That is just sick. Could you, could you even think either one of these men could get pleasure out of that? That is just. just oh, my God! That is sick. Oh. They're just working on the head of Kareem Sadat. That's a ball where he's still stuck in his back. Big leg drop by Trey Gallows. Big leg drop. Probably one of the few technical moves you're going to see in this match. I don't expect to see very many. Look at some of these fans' faces, man. It says it all. Trying to get him out of the barbed wire. Oh dear Jesus, he is tangled. As they finally free him from the barbed wire. The fans want to see more blood. Here. We can't stress it enough. These fans are sick. Bloodthirsty fans we have here at Sooner. Double clothesline! And barbed wire falls back on to Kareem Sadat. Wait a minute, what here the hell is franchise player doing out here? This is ridiculous. What is going on here? They're not even a part of this match. Why would they need to come out here? Why would they have any need to come out here? They have a takeover. i got to take care of some business. I don't know why the franchise players would have any business being out here. This is not their match. This is not their match to be in as David Kaiser is beating on Trey Gallows and Rick Russo is beating on Kareem Sadat. These two have no business being out here. LJ is standing in the way of Brock Landers. Brock Landers can't do much to help either one of these men. I mean, this is just sick. Why would they even need to come out here anyways? 
There's no need for these two of these men to be out here. As now David Kaiser is taking it to Kareem Sadat. As Kareem Sadat gives David Kaiser a low blow and shoves him out of the ring. Kareem Sadat gives, gives Rick Russo a low blow and throws him out of the ring as well. Gallows choking. Oh God, poor LJ McDaniels. <laughs> Hits him in the back with the chair. Fans chanting strike. Oh, poor guy looks like he's gonna get another one. Looks like his drink's turned to go bowling. Poor LJ. the pin and hits LJ right between the legs good god that was sick ladies and gentlemen that is the sickest thing I've ever seen and he drops the pin on LJ look like all the franchise players got racked that is not good if you're the franchise players. As Drake Gallows goes back to work on Kareem Sadat. And a DDT by Drake Gallows. Drake Gallows has got the chair. What has he got in mind? He's setting the chair up. He's grabbing another chair. He's got two chairs set up. He's grabbing a third chair. What on, what on earth is this, what on earth is he doing? Oh, that was so much fun. Oh, oh man, I bet Drake just had a lot of fun. Not too sure about LJ. Drake Gallows, perhaps, spending a little too much time taunting. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh, oh dear God. Jesus. A pile driver onto some chairs. Good God. Oh, I've got a headache just watching this. Oh, God. I know Carnage was here earlier, but this has turned into a nightmare. Good God. Kareem, sick people. Very sick. Kareem Sadat going back to work on Trey Gallows. Trey Gallows hits him in the midsection, and again. Trey Gallows trying to fight I'm out of it. I'm surprised the man can even move. I'm surprised either one of them can move. They've had barbed wires shoved in their backs. They're both busted open. Oh, wait a minute, he's going for the emo killer. Jake Gallows perhaps feel the effects a little. Oh. Drake Gallows. Dragging Kareem Sadat towards Drake the basket. Gallows pulling him out. 
Jay Gallo is trying to put him in the coffin. Yeah. He's got him in there. He's picking him up. Jay Gallo oh, trying to put him in the coffin. He's got him in there. And he throws him in the casket. And that's it! That's it! That's it. That's it. I'll be back. I got to take care of business. Jay Gallo's. And the A hellacious match between him, between him and Kareem Sadat. Good God. We need some medical attention out here. I think the locker room is clear. These wrestlers want to come out and see this match. Good God. That was just sick. Gallows wins a barbed wire casket match. We have not seen this match in four years, ladies and gentlemen. And Trey Gallows is the winner. He is the 2012 Christopher Crowe Memorial Cup champion and the new hardcore champion.